This is Judy's moment as a travelling moment. Let's watch. Pop, pop. <laughs> I am a traveller. <laughs> Joy, happiness. I'm not just looking forward though. Soaking it up. I belong. You are countrymen. When I walk into a room of this architecture, there is a very big part of me that wants to take off my shoes and my socks and wants to feel the mud and the sticks and the stones of the ma, the bank of the river of mists on which we meet. I am an Aboriginal woman and I was born to an Aboriginal woman and my mum was born on her country. And today when I talk to mum about her time on the mission, her words to me are, they were very cruel times. I became obliged to a lot of older Aboriginal people and I'm still obliged to those people today. They have been my oh, conscience. Lies, lies, where is it? When I first went to them in my massive ignorance about family and about culture, they refused to talk to me until I learnt the history of our country. Make way, show me the truth. I knew I was guided from that time and for all my journey, all I had to do was get in touch with my culture. Your blood, it runs so deep. Well, my nan always taught me never to wait for a handout, to never jeopardise your own integrity or your own self-determination by waiting for someone else to change what morally, culturally, spiritually eats at your bones. I am here today because of my ancestors, and this history lives in me. Today it's quite exciting to see that this state government has put treaty on the agenda to try and right the wrongs of the past. And I hope we're successful. <laughs>